Augustus Otto was born and raised on the Enclave oil rig in 2222. His father, Autumn Sr., was a high-ranking scientist in the Enclave at the time of the oil rig's destruction at the hands of the Chosen One in 2242. He was then contacted by the apparent new President of the United States, succeeding Dick Richardson, a former presidential advisor by the name of John Henry Eden. Eden ordered Autumn Sr. to gather all surviving Enclave troops and relocate to the Raven Rock military base in the capital wasteland. Obeying his orders, Autumn Sr. led the remnants of the Enclave eastward through the post-nuclear United States. Upon the Enclave's arrival at Raven Rock, Augustus' father became the only one to know the truth about John Henry Eden. That this supposed new president was in fact a Zack's supercomputer unit that had achieved self-awareness. Prior to his death, Autumn Sr. passed on this information to his son, who had eventually attained the rank of Colonel and assumed leadership of the Enclave's military forces. Unfortunately for Eden, however, Colonel Autumn proved to be far less subservient than his father, often openly disagreeing with the President's decisions. He didn't trust Eden completely, fearing that the cold and calculating supercomputer's methods were too extreme. As such, Autumn kept the Zack's self-destruct sequence for the President in his room as a last resort. However, despite his reservations when it comes to Eden's methods, Colonel Autumn himself is still extremely ruthless, rarely showing regret over even his most atrocious of actions. This includes breaking promises of mercy and shooting unarmed captives. None of it matters, since it's all for the greater good, all for the good of the Enclave. Autumn is a firm believer in the revival of the United States as a nation and a power in the post-nuclear world, and he will do almost anything to fulfill this vision. During the Enclave's assault on Project Purity, Colonel Autumn confronted the project's lead scientist, a man by the name of James. Wanting to claim the water purifier for the Enclave, Autumn demanded James' cooperation. Instead, James flooded the project's main chamber with lethal levels of radiation, sacrificing himself in an attempt to kill the Colonel and delay the Enclave takeover. However, Autumn managed to survive by injecting himself with what is assumed to be a more potent version of Radex or Radaway before succumbing to the radiation. After this, Eden's actions continued to raise tension between him and Autumn, until finally the Colonel's loyalty snapped. He flat out disobeyed the President's orders and usurped command of the human contingent of the Enclave's military forces. Leaving Raven Rock, Autumn and his forces relocated to the Jefferson Memorial, location of Project Purity, to make their last stand against the Brotherhood of Steel. It's unknown whether or not Colonel Autumn survived this encounter, but what is known is that even without Eden or Autumn's leadership, the Enclave lived on. <laughs>